Hey, what's up good people? You already know to go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell. Hello, for those of you that are new, my name is Stock Up with Larry Jones, and we are the family known as Stock Up, okay? Hey, go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell. Try to dress it up a little bit. I've been working out, good people. We gotta take care of our, our bodies, our minds, as we make money. I'm gonna go over some hot plays. I'm gonna tell you guys, show you guys exactly my follow through with Tesla, Carvana, Apple. Uh, and this is kind of a follow up video to yesterday's video called Hot Plays. I want everyone to watch it. It will be the video in your upper right hand corner. The video will appear in the box. A lot of people didn't see it. One of the things I talked about in that video is that some of my plays after I finish with my recordings, I actually go back and do some more trading some of the times and I will leave a pinned comment to the, the at the top of my comment, I will, I will comment and pin it to the top whenever I make a play. Let's leave it that way after the video is over, right? And so what you wanna do is when you wake up in the morning or afternoon or evening, just go to come back to this video and look at my pin comment and I do a follow through. That's what I'm going to be doing. OK, uh, uh, that's that's how I'm doing it. Uh, it's just easier that way. I don't have to go to another platform. It's quick. OK, but I've been spending a lot of time trading and we got some goodies. A lot of you guys follow uh, my play yesterday and I'm just telling you anything I say is not a suggestion to buy, hold, or sell. But if you followed my plays today, leave me a comment. If you followed them from yesterday, you all should be green. And let me show you what I've been doing and how I've been playing this market, okay? So a lot of uh, investors are classically trained and they're stuck, okay? And one of the things I've learned about the stock market is I let the stock market tell me who it is. I don't just get locked in what I think I listen to what the stock market is saying. OK, so I'm going to take this in a sequence. Let's start right here. Let's go right to it. On yesterday, for those of you that did not see the video on yesterday, on yesterday, I said in my video that I was selling Mara and Riot and I did. I sold Mara and Riot. Now, it does not mean that it won't continue to go up but I just sold it because I was in good enough. Now, I, I may, I will be back in to Mara Riot Hut and all of those types of plays, but so far it's been the right move at the right time because you could see that Mara and Riot are both down, right? And so I want you guys to do your own research. Anything I say is not suggested for you to buy, hold, or sell, but as it pertains to psychology trading, this, Momentum trading and psychology trading is my area where I make the most money. I'm not going to say expertise, but it's where I make the most money. And when you learn a skill, stick to that skill. But old school investors that are just classically trained are leaving a lot of money on the table. I, for one, had to pivot with the market. OK, even though there was signs showing that, you know, still the in inverted yield curve and all of that, this video will be timestamped and all of that yet to come. Right. There will be a pullback. But every time we think it's going to come, the market goes higher and higher and higher. We had AI come in and hijack the entire stock market. No one saw that coming. And then we had inflation data, PPI, CPI, uh, all of that good news that just keeps this bull market coming. And then we got five trillion dollars on the sidelines waiting to get back in. Now, even with all of that happening in the stock market, there's still an inverted yield curve uh, waiting and the, the Fed is still raising interest rates. But 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 there's always a big but in the room. The Fed could just go up one more percent and he actually could have a smooth landing. The area of uh, uh, of that happening, the percentage of that happening now is increasing. So six months ago, you know, I was like, uh, I don't see it. It was almost impossible. But the market spoke. And so I listened to the market. OK, so for some of you that are classically trained, you're leaving a lot of money on the table. And so I just learned in 2008, don't get mad. Join in and shift right now. 
I'm, sh- I'm going to show you how I'm protecting my gains. I'm not just all in. Someone asked me, what about all of the money we got on the sidelines? Wouldn't you rather have pile of cash on the sidelines and not have it at risk? OK, what you can do with that. I, c- I can't tell you what to do, but what I continue to do is to dollar cost average. And I just simply increase the amount that I'm dollar cost averaging. I'm not going all in. If you want to go all in, remember that's on you. This is not get like me. I'm going to continue to say there is a thousand roads to success in the stock market. There is not just one way. Yes, I still believe in evaluations. Yes, I believe that big tech is overpriced. All of it. All of big tech is overpriced. Yes, I believe it will cool down. The answer is when, right? And what do we do until then? What I choose to do is make money. Let's go to the plays, all right? Uh, Let me get rid of that window. Boom. Before we go to the plays, if you really want to know how I think, go ahead and download Stock Up You. Come and join the family and just learn these basic fundamentals that we're going to teach you. And I don't care who you are. You will understand it myself. Uh, Stocks with Josh, Keenan Grace. Mommy traded with dividends. We got Curry with basic fundamentals. So he got one class there and uh, just come and learn, come and learn and earn. I guarantee you, you will pay for the school in a week. Most of you pay for it in hours, let alone a day. Now you get to take what you've learned and make more money. And then uh, lastly, uh, Mumu, get their 16 free stocks. And yes, I am still going to start a portfolio uh, in Mumu, and I'm going to start it with the Bitcoin mining companies, okay? Crypto mining companies. All right. So on yesterday, let's go right to it. On yesterday, I said this. Now, as you could see, I got 30 contracts, okay? Um, um, and I'm up 11% or on Carvana at the time of filming this. I'll come back. I may be down, but as you can see, I have a put price to $50, right? And it's right now $50, but I put it uh, at $50 when it was up $52, $53. I did a put um, uh, option down to $50. And as you could see, I went in heavy. Now, yes, I have a stop loss set now that I'm in profit, okay? So you guys heard that. I have a stop loss set now that I'm in profit. That was Carvana, all right? That was Carvana. I get (laughs) Carvana, I I said it yesterday. Somebody's like, oh man, please pronounce that correctly. So what happened yesterday, then I'm gonna show you where Carvana is at the time of uh, posting this, right? So, you know what? Let's just take this in order and then I'm going to show you. All right. Let's just take this in order. All right. So remember, I pinned to the comment on yesterday that I had two contracts on Tesla. I had one that rolled it up. I made 20 percent on that one and it cashed out. So I had a call and a put. Remember, call up, put down. So on the call, I made 20 percent on that. Right. And then look at what happened to the put. All right. This was this morning and the put ran up 62 percent and I cashed it. Now, remember, I always say this was an experiment. I showed you guys on yesterday. Make sure you watch both of yesterday's videos. I never short Tesla, but I believe that Tesla was going to cool off based on earnings. And that's exactly what it did. Right. And so. I profited and I sold it. Okay. Now I did a call on Apple and that hasn't the the price. I made 15% on Apple with 13 contracts. I made 15, I'm sorry, 18% on that Apple call and then I sold it. So let's look at Apple where Apple is now that it has cooled off. And for those of you that don't have all of the fancy tools and all of that, just go to Google Finance and look at this. You could see that Apple is just a little flat. It's not bad. Okay. Then you could just scroll down and see what happened.
to Apple. Okay, look at this. Apple is developing its own chat GTP, uh, GPT rather, and it talks about everything that's going on with Apple and Apple will eventually go back up. All right. So now what also did I do do a put on? And that was, as you could see here, I did a put on Tesla. So I wrote it up yesterday and I wrote it down to, uh, um, before closing bail. I showed you guys in real time when I did it. And so here we are. Now Tesla is down 8.32%. Okay. So, so far, all of the plays I gave you guys on yesterday were good. Now, go down here to the news. Tesla's uh, Tesla shares down on slimming margins. Okay. If you look at uh, uh, Tesla, their margins were slim. Okay. They had beats and they had misses. All right. But what everyone was betting on was forward guidance and the release of new products like the, the, the cyber truck and all of that. And I just didn't think that was enough to be, to bring up a stock that was so bullish. Right. So as you guys know, I was in Tesla doing call options and made a lot of money. But when I think it was about to reverse, then I did the one put option, just like I told you guys I was going to do on yesterday. And so now it, the, the announcement of the Cybertruck and all of that, and it was like, eh, you know, and here we go. You can go right into it. It tells you how Tesla shares dip after hours on. It was a disappointing call. OK, you guys can go in and read that. There's a thousand other YouTubers that will give you the in-debt numbers. OK, I look at flow. I don't fight the flow and I've learned I've made more money. Now, let's go to Carvana. Look at what's happening to Carvana as we speak. Fifteen percent down. Why? Because I'm not even going to play you guys a video. I, I, I got a video of a guy on C, uh, CNBC just talking about this. It was insane for it to go up that much. They don't have any capital. They just come out of bankruptcy. Um, even though they wrote, wrote off a lot of debt, this car company has to hit everything right to be a $30 stock, let alone a $47 stock. So I did a put. So this was this morning. OK, this was this morning. As you can see, I entered into a second uh, put and I kept selling my puts. I just kept selling my options. I kept selling calls. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I kept selling puts. I would set my stop loss. It goes up. I'll sell the put. And then it comes back down and then I buy back in. That's what I've been doing today, good people. So I entered into a secondary one. You could see it there at the bottom, ex ex expiring on the 8th of August rather than the 18th of August. All right. You can see that, right? Then look at that. I wanted to show you guys that. Remember how I'm buying ARC, uh, SCHD and VOO? Remember $100 a week? As you can see, <laughs> there it is. ARC is outperforming in this time frame. My theory is I want to be in the fastest moving car at the time. But let's go down to DWAC. As you can see, that is another put in October. Why are you doing puts on DWAC? It has nothing to do with the president, has nothing to do with too, true social, has nothing to do with any of that. It all has to do with it's a SPAC. SPACs generally about 90 to 95 percent of the times sell off after a merger. And that is solely why I did it. Let's keep it going. OK, I want you guys to see that. Look at this. Look at where it is for the day. Look at that. This is a video. I'm going to let it play out. You can see that 28 percent. And then the one I just entered in, I'm on 35 percent. Right. But look at how much I'm up for the day to the right. Now you're saying, how are you up higher for the day? I'm up six point, like six and a half thousand dollars, like six thousand four hundred and eighty dollars. How are you up that much? Because I keep buying and selling 
my put options. I keep buying and selling my put options. I did it on DWAC. DWAC, I'm just, I'm just taking my time on it. But or on Carvana, I went more aggressively today. And that's what I've been doing. And so let's look at Carvana. Ah, I wish we had an hour to hour. Uh, this is the day. Okay. So this is what. Uh, let's see. Uh, all righty. So I know this is just a blank chart, but when since it's a put option, whenever it spikes up, that's when I would buy a put. I'll, I, I normally just buy one contract and then I monitor it. I monitored it all day yesterday. I looked at the valleys and flows and valleys and flows. And I looked at my price action when it dipped into the red. I bought one more contract. Then it ran green. Then it dipped it in the red. Sometimes I'll buy five more contract. Then it went green and then I sold it. And then, but I, I will sell all but one and then let it come back down when I'm doing uh, my put options. And I do the same thing on call options. I hope you understand this. And so what I keep doing is I keep taking profits just by selling them daily. And I will probably be out of this play today, right? I will probably be out of this play today. Um, and if not, I will be probably 75% of it uh, out. Now, here's what I also want to tell you that I got my stop loss set tight now, right? So I can't lose right now because right now I got my stop loss set close to where it is now, not where I bought it, but where I am in profit. So you saw that $5,000. If it turns around and goes the other way, I'll lock in $5,000. And guess what? Then I let it come back down and I may buy some more. And I do that in the middle of the day. And then towards the end, I'm good. All right. So leave me a comment if that's if this helped you. Um, I don't do this every day. I don't trade like this all of the time. But when I find a play like this where there is no way this stock, bankrupt stock with no money, company with no money should be this high on a potential short squeeze. I know that if the herd is betting that it's going to go higher, I run against the herd. And I say, yeah, it may be high today, but tomorrow it's coming, it's coming back down to earth. And sometimes it'll run for three days. So you have to be careful. That's why I keep setting my stop losses while I'm in profit. All right. Make sure you share me with your friends. Make sure you download the class and learn more psychology trading. Make sure you download Moo Moo and uh, follow us on those plays. And most importantly, thank you. And make sure you share me uh, this page with your friends. Live, love, laugh, learn and earn.